Today, we're gonna to be talking about every step you have to take to have the perfect lock wash day. With a lock journey or a natural hair journey in general, finding that perfect routine is the secret to growing long, healthy hair. Be mindful of ingredients used and how it affects your scalp and your strands. A healthy scalp in a lock journey is one of the most important aspects, if not the most important aspect, of growing long, healthy locks. I just finished combing out the perimeter of my locks to reinstall them smaller. If you want to know why, check out the video in the card. So that's why I'm wearing this now because my hairline is still under construction. I'm pretty much done. I just have to interlock the front. I already filmed a separate video on the entire experience. So if you want to see the end results and reveal of that, then make sure to subscribe and look out for next week's video. So let's get into my step-by-step -step routine. Since it is summer, I did want to throw in some tips for going into the pool and swimming in the ocean with locks. So I've added that into this video as well. So in this clip, I actually just came out of the pool. Step one, detangle and shake. Bonus is to check for lint when locks are dry. But since this is a pool edition, my locks were already wet and I regularly check for lint. So detangling is really important and it makes for an easier wash day. Whether your hair is dry or wet, if you've just come out of water, make sure to carefully detangle your hair. And if my hair was, was dry, I also would shake my hair to get any dust or lint that's just sitting on the top of my hair. Because it's wet though, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so before we get into step number two, if you are coming in from the pool or the beach, make sure to fully saturate your hair and rinse out all of that pool water. I'm coming in from a saltwater pool, but there still is chlorine in saltwater pools. So especially if you're coming out of chlorine water, make sure to rinse your hair thoroughly. Step number two, clarifying shampoo. I use the Suave Clarifying Shampoo. Using a clarifying shampoo is essential for me to fully reset my scalp and locks. This particular shampoo may be too drying for some, so beware of that. I dilute this shampoo with water and put a few drops of peppermint oil in it as well. This shampoo brings life back into my hair and makes it feel light and fluffy again. I've been recommended some other clarifying shampoos on my Instagram like the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Shampoo and the Whey Clarifying Shampoo. I haven't personally tried these, but I definitely want to in the future. Once I finish the Suave Shampoo, I'm going to give the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo a try. I'm curious to see how it works for me and if it trumps the Suave Clarifying because I've been using Suave since pretty much the beginning of my lock journey and it hasn't done me wrong. Step number three, moisturizing shampoo. I love the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. You really have to lather well to see lots of bubbles and suds. As you can see in this clip, the way my hands are moving, it's kind of like a rotating circular motion, and that really gets the soap activated. But this shampoo moisturizes and softens my hair so nicely, which I love, especially after using a clarifying shampoo. Since I don't use conditioner, a moisturizing shampoo is essential for me to soften my hair. It works wonders. I will definitely be repurchasing this shampoo. Also, I think we already know this, but you need to shampoo twice to get your locks super clean. This is key, major key.
Step number four, microfiber hair towel to dry your locks. This is an essential product for locks, loose natural hair, really every type of hair. I have the one I use linked on my Amazon storefront if you're interested. Step number five, I make sure to gently squeeze the water out of my hair and then I go on to oiling. So step number five, oil my scalp and massage. This is something that I do every single wash day, which is once a week. I do have these three oils and I rotate between those between those three. I was in the mood for a tingly sensation on my scalp this day, so I used this black-owned oil made by an acquaintance of mine in Toronto. I love this oil. It feels really soothing and stimulating. I don't use this every week, but just when I'm in the mood for that tingle sensation. Step number six, oil on mids and ends. This is optional depending on what your hair needs, but I love to use this OGX oil to add shine and a really nice fragrance. It just makes my hair feel finished. It's like the last step. And I love the fact that it adds a beautiful shine to my hair as well. I'll probably just buy pure argan oil once I run out of the coconut and the argan oil OGX spray mist, but for now, I'm really liking the spray mist. Step number seven, air dry or put in a curling method. Whether that's twists, braids, flexi rods, cornrows, bantu knots. I'm using the air dry method because I was getting my locks reinstalled around the perimeter. So it was just easier to leave it straight. Also, I'm currently working on my retie and I always like to do my retie on straight locks. I don't know why, but I think it's just because it's easier and I always start my retie right after I wash my hair. Honestly, in the summer, I've noticed that I don't curl my hair nearly as often. One, I'm swimming often and two, the humidity, if you know, you know. And that's it for my summer edition wash day routine. This routine has worked so beautifully for me. Like if I could just have you touch my hair, it's just the perfect routine. I almost don't want to try anything else, but I'm too curious not to. So like I said, I will be trying uh, the Trader Joe's shampoo and I'll let you know how I like it. And that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that it was helpful for you and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for next week's video because it's going to be a fun one. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.